What's going on and welcome back to another gear review and in this video we're going to be going over the Tasmanian Tigers TAC Pouch Dot One series. These guys are awesome pouches and I wanted you guys to see all of them together so that way you can determine what's going to be best for your application and then be able to set up your kit with a lot more ease. These guys definitely excel in a couple of different areas whether it be just having a low profile pouch on your cummerbund or on your back to having these inside of a vehicle whether it's on a visor or a seat back panel they're super small and streamlined so they won't obstruct your field of view or take up a lot of leg room in the back if you need that but still provide adequate space to be able to carry a lot of stuff that you may need and then last but not least i feel like these guys definitely excel when it comes to pelican cases and setting up lid organization again they're streamlined and low profile so they'll hold the equipment that you need without taking up a lot of space and then leaving that primary or larger compartment of the pelican case open for larger items and the stuff that you want to put in there so with that these guys are going to range in price from about 25 bucks to 45 bucks some things that will influence the price aside from the dimensions are going to be the material and either the color or camo pattern your solid colors are going to be a little bit less expensive or they're not going to cost as much and uh, they're going to be a 700 denier cordura your multicam pattern is going to be a 500 denier cordura and it will tack on just a couple of bucks uh, to the price for the prices i kind of went high on all of them so you'll just have to reduce the price for your solid colors but the 1.1 is going to cost you around 25 bucks the 4.1 is going to cost you 25 bucks the 5.1 is going to cost you 30 to 35 to 40 dollars and then same with the 6.1, 35 to $40. And then the 7.1 is going to cost you roughly 40 to 45 bucks. So uh, with that, I'm going to dive right into all of these so that way you can see what they look like internally. They're kind of a copy and paste with just dimension changes and then a few different few differences when it comes to the interior. The exteriors for the most part are very, very similar. Uh, so with that, the 1.1 is going to be 6x4x1.5. By by exterior wise you're going to have some 550 cord that's sewn in to be able to attach small little things to the exterior you have uh, molly on the back your primary zipper and then this is just going to open up with a small mesh pocket and then elastic looping for retention and then an additional uh, small 550 cord loop up at top the 4.1 is going to be four by six by one and a half so it's essentially just the horizontal version of the 1.1 you have your 550 cord on the exterior to be able to attach small little items molly on the back and then when you open this up you're going to have your mesh pocket elastic loops and then a small 550 cord loop so pretty simple and straightforward these essentially are the exact same pouch one's just vertical one's just horizontal next you have the 4.1 this is going to be 6 by 6 by 2.3 you have an additional external zipper pocket and when comparing this product to a lot of other companies out there i should say a lot of other but a few other cry precision has a pouch that is almost identical to this the nice thing with this guy is you actually have these external 550 cord loops so if you want to attach some small stuff to it you have that ability uh, across the board for all of these you can actually fit chem lights through the exterior looping so that is a nice extra feature um, but this thing is very similar to that cry precision i want to say it's the six by six and then it's also very similar to the tier tactical five by five and six by six so similar in nature to those uh, again exterior pocket molly on the back 550 cord loops up front and then interior wise this is where you're going to start seeing a lot of change these guys have a large section of velcro in the middle elastic loops vertical 550 cord loops that you can attach stuff to as well as two loops up here at the top of 550 cord and then you also have a larger mesh pocket with two zipper access points and then additional elastic looping right there so a little bit bigger a little bit more going on with it it is a nice pouch though and definitely something that i would run on my kit especially on my back panels so uh, next we have the 6.1 this is going to be 7.8 by 6 by 2.3 uh, you have additional velcro on the exterior of this your 550 cord loops on the uh, exterior your external zipper pocket 
Molly on the back, and then the interior is just going to be kind of a larger version of your 5.1. Large section of Velcro in the middle with your 550 cord loops and elastic loops, and then an additional uh, 550 cord loop on either side up here at the top, and then you have a larger mesh pocket with your elastic loops and then two zipper access points to that Velcro or to that uh, mesh pocket. And then last but not least, we have the 7.1. This is gonna be nine by six by 2.3. Again, Velcro on the front with your 550 cord loops, your external uh, zipper pocket, Molly on the back, and then just a larger version of the interior when it comes to having that Velcro in the center, your 550 cord vertical uh, loops with your elastic loops, and then the two loops up here at the top of 550 cord and then just a larger mesh pocket with an additional set of elastic looping for retention and then your two zipper access points. So, With that, that kind of just breaks down all of these pouches so that way you can see them all together and then the differences uh, with them. I will have additional videos of breaking each one of these down independently and then I'm going to also try and get some vehicle setup stuff and some vehicle, or not some vehicle, but uh, some Pelican case lid organization setups. So that way you can see all of these set up across the board of both on your kit, in your vehicle, and inside of a Pelican case to help you kind of see what these will look like when they're all set up and, and ready to go for whatever application you may be using it for. So with that, if you have any questions, please feel free and ask. We'll help you out in any way that we can. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.